What Leo loves is to be able to get to know a patient. You know, we walk down the corridor and people say, hello, gorgeous, and he looks up. And I'm sure he thinks his name is gorgeous at times. I'm Lindsay Uglo. I'm the lead therapy dog handler of the team that visits Southampton Children's Hospital. SCH Therapy Dogs is Southampton Children's Hospital Therapy Dogs, so we're a team of six therapy dogs and four handlers. Um, the minute Lindsay and the dogs walk on, people switch off, people have time to relax. Um, the patients that are awake absolutely love the treat of having a dog. If somebody who's non-clinical can come in and just offer them something that we can't as staff, they bring a bit of home into the unit, into what is a really clinical, intense environment. I knew nothing of his diagnosis or his condition and then it was suggested that maybe I, I should introduce the dog to Oscar. Lindsay brought Leo over, put his paw onto Oscar's bed and instantly his heart rate dropped and we got a smile. Um, and it was a miracle. It really was. If we can give them that little bit of magic to cling on to then that was, that's really great. That smile made, meant a lot to everybody. All of what we do comes under animal assisted intervention. So within that, there's animal assisted activity, which is meet and greet. They'll go and say hello to everybody. They, they're like speed daters. If we're doing an escort or if we're supporting a child who's having a particular procedure done, we might be sitting with that parent and child for 40 minutes. And it's all about keeping the child with a, a positive thought process um, whilst they're having health care. Leo just comes into the unit, he's such a chilled dog. Just having that calming time, just patting Leo, is just therapy for us all. They're greeted by people from the minute we walk in the door to the minute we leave. He will trot in like he's owning the place, but to try and get him to leave on occasion, I've actually had to carry him out. The dogs just come in and their friendly faces, they give them something other than, than the healthcare environment to think about. They're not there to persuade or cajole the children, they're just simply dogs. And we are the bridge between the healthcare team and the, the child.